Um, so that'll be at three thirty. Um, what's in your gum hall of fame? I know we talked about the fruit stripe story earlier in the week, and already uh, the flavor ran out, if you will. Uh, um, good, but like, it, like you have to pick one gum to nominate for the gum hall of fame. And and I know you're not much of a gum chewer these days, nor am I. But I'm sure in your youth you chewed a gum or two. Dude, I gotta tell you, the first one that comes to mind. I don't, wait, what is the what is the one bubble? What, which one? What was the one that was wrapped that had the comics on it? Bazooka, bazooka. Yeah, and double bubble. Double bubble was a red and yellow wrapper that you get at Halloween. And it was hard as a rock. And then bazooka was the one that was a rectangle and had comics on it all the time. And you read it, bazooka. That was, like, that was double bubble. Yeah, the rectangle. The, yeah, the well, the rectangle was bazooka. And, and then double bubble it was like yellow and had twisty ends, like it was yellow and blue and had twisty. No, are you sure that's not super bubble? I don't know what super bubble is. Well, anyway, well, okay. Well, see, this looks like because they really buried. If you're a super bubble fan, it got buried in the fact that super bubble is no more either. Uh, which it looks like exactly like what you're talking about. Uh, it's those little. Uh, yeah, but, but double bubble is what I uh, double bubbles. Um, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, I think you have different types of uh, hall of fames. Like, if I was going to chew a, a legitimate piece of gum like daily and enjoy it and have it be a part of my life. You know, I think, what is it, like five gum now? Is it, yeah. Is it damn fine? I don't gum? want to know that. I want to okay. know the gum throughout your Bazooka. entire 30... Bazooka. Thank you. 30-some odd years of existence that brought you the most joy. Bazooka and... or the uh, the tape? The bubble tape? Yeah. Bazooka, the gum itself sucked, though. The, the comments were so funny. It was like, uh, how do you like school, Bazooka Joe? Closed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh. I mean, I didn't ever read the comics. I just oh. liked uh, the way it made me feel. I only read the comics and then whipped the gum out in traffic at older people. By the way, a lady pulled out in front of me last night on um, McMullen Booth, uh, older lady. It, it was like 6.50 at night, no lights on, no nothing, just pulls out right in front of me, and I just happened to see her, and I'm like, man, you got to get off the road. You run her off the road? Uh, I, you flipped her off? I didn't do you anything. Curse? I don't, I don't, no one else exists. Come I'm on. In a, I'm in a bubble. Tell nope. me the truth. No, I, I practice enlightened driving. Tell me the truth. Nothing. Um, so, uh, so for me, if I'm looking at my all-time favorite gum, it's a really tough one because I have two different ones. Freshen up the gum that goes squirt, the way it just... Right into your mouth, and who what, doesn't wait, love what that? Was that? What was that? That squirts? No. Freshen up. It, it, it freshen up is a square gum, like a pillow, if you will, and then inside it's got a liquid center. Oh, I've had those, but I yeah. didn't know those were. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it, my uncle used to bring it over. He goes, uh, "I got something you're gonna put in your mouth, and then it's gonna squirt, and then I'm gonna give you some gum." Oh, oh! I stand down. I want. I need a redo. All right. Dude, from a flavor perspective, I don't ever chew because I like minty gums when I'm like going to chew gum. Dude, juicy fruit is a flavor that has just not been recreated. Like, what is juicy? You ever tasted anything that tastes like juicy no. fruit ever? No, you're right. It's a very unique flavor. Also, doesn't last long. Exactly. Like those fruit gums, they're not gonna they're well, not well, gonna live last make it last I, long. I, I think it's different when you <laughs> when you look at. Is, is is that are you is that noise coming from over there? Oh, I'm sorry. I just my feet squeaking. Oh, oh, I just I thought there was a bird outside the window. Oh, I keep hearing it. I, I don't know. It's no, you're swinging my feet. As long as it's not a as long as it's not a bird. No, but like, is there any childhood gum with with flavor that stayed? Like that's part. Like like fruit stripe was the worst of it. But I mean, you can't give me like a fruity young boy gum that uh, that that keeps its flavor. I see you never chewed fruity young boy gum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, grape bubble yum. Grape bubble yum. My all-time classic. Like, I love that the Bubblicious. Nice. I love the Hubba Bubba. They had a cola-flavored Hubba Bubba. Wait, wait. Say that one more time. Was Bubble Yum? There's Bubble Yum and there's yeah, Bubble Bubble Yum is good. Dude. Bubble Yum is is classic gum. That is the one throughout my life that yeah. brought me the most joy. Can you look and see what year it came out? Because I want to say 75 or 6. I was like 6. 75. Knew it. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm switching to Bubble Yum. Thank you. As the Hall of Famer. Yeah. I, man, I need bubble yum. I'm going to chew some bubble yum this weekend. Well, it's an amazing gum. And, and like, it comes in that little rectangle, and then it, you chew it. And, like, the elasticity, it, it gives you some great bubbles. It does. And when it's good, good flavor. Oh, great. The That's grape flavor was the best grape, like, oh. Now, Hubba Bubba came along and really took the, the gum, the bubble blowing, to the next level. Um, they had the commercials where it was like the gum slinger would come into town and he'd go, uh, it's a gum slinger. He'd go, I challenge you to a gum fight. And they oh, would, no. they would put bubble gum in their mouth. They chew, 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 chew. And they go, Whoop, and then it pops and gum slinger just rips the whole thing off. He goes, and it won't stick to your face. 
Man, it's interesting what a passion uh, the the community and the nation had for blowing bubbles. Yeah, I mean, like I feel like nobody's really talking about like the need or the want or the desire to blow bubbles with your bubble gum. Yeah, I hear Michael Jackson talking a lot about a lot about it in documentaries. Well, bubbles was his chip. I was a big popper. I was a big. Uh, I would like to like widen it in my mouth in front of my teeth and then suck in, so it made like loud. Oh pop. yeah, yeah, I did that too. But I would also like to blow bubbles bigger than my head. Like I had a baseball card where Joe Garagiola, the baseball player, uh, had blown a bubble so large, and I think that he won like the bubble blowing championship that year. Dude, the bu the bubblicious watermelon is really oh, good too. Oh, that's a good gum. That is good. Ride or die, <laughs> threw that one out there. Did you do you remember? Um, Man, I always forget the name anytime I try to remember it. The gum that you could eat the paper? What? It was it was cinnamon. It was cinnamon. Oh man. Cinnaburst. Oh, Cinnaburst. I remember Cinnaburst. 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 Yeah, Cinnaburst was was packaged in rice paper. So you could eat the paper. That was like the, the hell thing. out of here. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Gum in Your Mouth. This is a new segment on Drew Grabo Live with John Senning, where we talk about gum in your mouth. Let's go to the phone lines. Hello, Drew Grabo Live with John Senning. Gum in your mouth. Who are you? Hey, Bob, tell us about the gum in your mouth. Big lead and chew. Great. Awful. Overrated. I'm sorry. That's not gum in my mouth. Is that gum in your mouth? Um, not in a while. No. I and mean, again, it's different to talk about gums that are good and gums that stood the test of time yeah like I, I guarantee you if like when's the last time you had you've been touting bubble gum yeah when's the last time you chewed some bubble gum 80s yeah but, but big league chew let me just yeah. say this to all the people tweeting me and calling about it because big league chew is a gimmicky gum the gum itself is not great is it cool that it comes in a chewing tobacco like thing sure is it cool that you can grab yourself a plug of gum and put it in your craw sure that's cool the gum itself inferior we're not talking about gum in the package we're talking about gum in your mouth so by the way uh i found an article that says the wrapper wasn't edible but that was a common urban legend at the time the gum with the edible wrapper so it's an urban legend i, I guess i mean oh, okay. I, I ate endless endless amounts of cinnaburst gum with the wrapper and you know i turned out just fine uh, <laughs> sure you did uh speaking of edible wrappers cardi b i'd eat that hi drew gobble live with john sending gum in your mouth who are you Logan, how Logan. You what's the gum in your mouth, bud? Big League Chew. You idiots! You freaking morons! Gum in your mouth, not gum in a gimmicky package that is nothing more than tobacco for children. The gum in your mouth is not a superior gum. I'm talking about it, gum in your but, mouth. But the fact is, there's nothing sexy oh, about oh, gum oh, that people oh, are actually chewing. Oh, like, oh, like oh, hey, the new Trident? You talk to your dentist friends, four out of five well, of them would recommend say, Trident like for that's what chew gum. Extra? Like, that's what people chew. Big like, Red, kiss a little longer. Love a little big longer. Red. I would accept that as a gum big, in your mouth. Yeah, Big Red. That's yeah. a gum in your mouth. Can you even find Big Red anymore? Uh, I'm not sure they still, Wrigley still makes Big Red. That's a moneymaker. I mean, really, I think that the, the Tridents and the Extras, uh, the Mentos, I see a lot. Mentos is not a gum. It, it, well, well, it is. It's a mint. Uh, it's, it's a gum. I think what? they're probably doing more gum sales now than mint sales. I did not know that. Um, so I just think those are the gums that people are actually chewing like in reality yeah i will tell you this i will never like by choice chew up a, a fruity gum yeah no same here like i if i i want as an adult what it depends like am i looking for a good time or am i looking for a functional mouth freshening something to chew up on as an adult good time you're looking for uh, john gum in your mouth is always a good time so you're looking for a good time when there's gum in your mouth you want you want bubble yum yeah. great i think i think currently as my as my true gum if i had to have one gum it's the uh, spearmint five that's my uh that's my that's like, if i had to go to the store right now yeah. and get a pack that i'm gonna chew all week and not just chew one and have some fun with it yeah that that actually is the last gum that i've chewed is spearmint five because spearmint is something you can't find anywhere else and by the way it has racist origins it uh comes from africa and they would call it spearmint if you know 